Hey, I'm Dan Thomas, and welcome to my channel for the Newbie Woodworker, or anyone really. Here's an incredibly quick and easy way to cut thin strips on your table saw. It's just a simple push block with a heel to support the back of the stock. If you follow my simple instructions, you'll hopefully end up cutting multiple thin strips the same thickness. Start with a scrap piece of 2x4 or 2x6, about a foot long. If you use a 2x4, be careful where you put your thumb. Cut off the bottom so it's nice and flat. Use a push stick, not your hand, like the idiot in the video is doing. And stand to the side, you idiot. Better late than never, I guess. Here's what we'll do next. We'll cut a slot on the bottom and leave about two and a half inches here. We'll cut across here and snap the piece off. Then we'll chisel or sand the rest off. So start by raising the blade all the way up. This gives us a more vertical cut, which means less to chisel off later. Use a piece of painter's tape to show where the front of the blade comes out of the table. Make a mark about two and a half inches in against the flat side we just cut. Set up the fence to cut about a half inch off, give or take. Then make the cut. And again, use a push block or stick, not your hand. Cut up to where the mark lines up with the tape. Lower the blade to just below the top of the cut. Use a miter gauge, crosscut sled, or a handsaw and cut across where the mark is. Snap off the piece. Then chisel or sand off the rest. I assume you won't have a camera running, so you won't have to figure out the best way to hold it for the camera. That's all there is to it. Now we're ready to make the cuts. Make sure the thin strips can't get stuck in the gap between the blade and the insert plate. If you have a zero clearance insert plate, then that's probably not a concern. But if you don't, you can use a wide strip of painter's tape like this. Make sure it goes over the ends of the table and is nice and smooth. Then raise your blade up through it. So let's cut some strips. Take the stock you'll be using and raise the blade until it's just at the top of the stock. Position your fence to whatever width you want the strips to be. Obviously, if you get it wrong, you can adjust it after making a cut. Then just use the push block to push the stock through the blade. Don't turn the push block at the end or you'll break off the thin piece of the heel. It'll still work if you do break it off, but still, try to keep it intact if you can. Keep the stock against the fence as you push it through so you get consistent thicknesses. Just make sure not to pinch the back against the blade, or it could kick back some. You might also get inconsistent results if your fence and blade aren't properly aligned. This solution may not work in all situations, but since it's so quick and easy, you might as well give it a shot. If you want to keep the push block around, I recommend marking it somehow, or you'll just throw it away. Don't forget the thumbs up, leave a comment if you want, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks!